What's going on guys? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi, and today we're going to be viewing this brand new 2022 Keystone Alpine Model 3712KB. Front living floor plan with sleeping room for five, maybe six individuals. It's really depending on the size of your guest. We're going to start on the outside of the coach going over its different features before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming out your 41 feet, six inches of total length with five total slides is this 2022 Keystone Alpine Model 3712 KB. The KB can be looked at as a numerous things from king bed to possibly even king bath. This model has a 48 by 48 shower found in the back. Living room in the front, and there are two sleeper sofas up there. So sleeping room in this coach for possibly up to six people. 100 inches wide with a dry weight of 14,300 pounds. And speaking of weight, here in the king pit of your truck, 2,810 pounds. And your king pan is gonna be the road armor trail air. And you do have that bigger bushing, allowing for a little bit more flex, preventing it from chucking when you're starting and stopping. Automotive grade windshield on the front with automotive grade paint as well. And no, we don't have any issues with those windows when people are traveling from different debris maybe causing damage or breaking. Yet to have that happen here, thank goodness. 100 inches wide, and this is coach is gonna have a 12 inch I-beam construction running the full length. You do have a drop frame in the front giving you that storage compartment that I'm gonna show you on the other side over here. All the controls to raise and lower this coach or even to level the six point electric, excuse me, hydraulic leveling system found over here underneath the slide, so watch your head. But just by simply pressing of a button, the coach will in fact level itself, which is great when dealing with a camper that's almost 42, 43 feet in length. On demand, hot water heater. So endless, tankless. Some people say, yes, it's tankless, but it'll run until at least you run out of propane. Both the propane bottles found on one side, which is great so you're not bouncing back and forth between sides of the coach to change out those bottles whenever they do happen to run out. And I call this a docking station. All the water lines come up through the floor of the coach connecting to your RV. City water connection, black tank flush, even this cool little outside shower, low point drain also found in there. Satellite connections found up there in the top, so if you decide to go that route, you'll have it there. Blindside camera prep, that's what that bracket is there. You can have three different ones. One there, and one on the same identical marker on this side, plus one in the back. Oh, before I get too far along, this is a shot of the front storage compartment. And you do have a divider that's here. Last year they didn't have this divider separating all of your hydraulic reservoir, plus that built-in inverter to control that 18 cubic foot refrigerator found inside. Coming around, you got two 14 foot awnings, frameless windows, this coach has two 15K Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet Air units. G-rated tires. And this model has the upgraded Morai suspension with that bigger shackle, giving it a lot more smoother ride. That plus the king pin will allow this coach just to travel really nicely. Six foot two entry door, about 30 inches wide. And these steps are on that hydraulic cylinder right there. We'll flex it a little bit so you can see. Really, really simple to raise and lower these things. Even though the coach is around 13 feet, five inches tall, those steps can feel intimidating maybe to a smaller individual. Your front storage compartment. About four feet deep, three and a half feet tall maybe, three and a half feet wide. Your baggage doors on this coach are about an inch thick and they changed out the latches this year. I kind of like them now that I've started to mess with them a few times. They're not too bad. And I always like to give my viewers a shot of the stickers. The outside stickers on this coach would definitely. Coming standard this year on all Keystone products is gonna be the new Solar Flex 200. 200 watt solar panel on the roof which sends over a trinkle charge to that controller found in the front. Can be possibly upgraded to a 400 or 600 and I do believe it possibly even a 700. And if you upgrade, you get more panels, lithium batteries, a bigger controller, 
and certain outlets throughout the coach will even be wired to receive power from those batteries but just keep in mind it's only from a battery so how long will that sustain if you decided to upgrade but with the solar flex 200 if you tend to put your coach inside of a storage maybe for an extended period of time that solar flex 200 will send over a trinkle charge to that battery extending the life of the battery normally if you didn't have charge going to a battery it's supposed to last upwards of maybe five to seven years but we all know the downside it doesn't realistically maybe two sometimes three but if you have a charge something that's monitoring that charge it would definitely extend the life of that battery plenty of storage space found on this coach here two inch receiver on the back only used for additional bike rack or even a luggage rack retractable ladder normally only found on most toy hauler models found on the new 22 so that's a new upgrade retractable ladder solar flex 200 that's also a big change going into january 2022 here inside model 3712 kb front living floor plan rear bath having that 48 by 48 shower sleeping room possibly for six with five total slides and up front in your gooseneck area you're gonna have possibly sleeping room for four sleeper sofa on both sides and all the windows that i currently have open at the moment are breeze windows except for the front one but if you don't want that natural sunlight to come through there is a blackout shade that is provided to actually block all that light out for you electric fireplace in the front producing right at 5,000 BTUs of heat but if you don't camp in the winter you can turn the heat off and just utilize the lights maybe to assist your guests who are sleeping on one of the two sleeper sofas provided ceiling height up in the gooseneck area right at six foot four and a half inches tall Thomas Paint collection furniture and these two back here these are recliners they have the heated and massage option as well plus the LED lights found underneath so Alpine has changed their air conditioners going into January 2022. Last year's model, even on some 22 models, you didn't see the whole entire air conditioning unit, just the return vent off to the side. These still are whisper quiet. And Alpine comes standard with two 15K units on board. Coming down to your kitchen area where you've got two more opposing slides, giving you right at nine feet of walking space. Stainless steel appliances with this butler style pantry and if you don't want the butler's pantry maybe you're looking for a front living with a half bath alpine does also provide you with that option slide box height of six foot ten and all the windows in the slide box here will be breeze windows legless table with four chairs and the table also provides you with additional leaflet plus some additional storage which is really great when you're more full-time inside of some of these coaches nowadays coming right around coffee prep station which also houses all the controls for your coach from your air conditioner your light switches and possibly even some of the leveling controls found right from here within the main control switch suburban controls for the suburban on-demand hot water heater ranging from temperatures of 130 degrees or less and check out the solid service countertops really nice how they've placed them all the way throughout not just in certain areas stainless steel appliances with an 18 cubic foot samsung refrigerator refrigerator on the top with a freezer on the bottom and there is a water line for that built-in ice maker also not the not the drinking water just the ice maker insignia appliances over here for your cooking all the way around you got a insignia convection microwave you do have the shelf plus the stainless steel check out the tile backsplash that's really nice solar flex as we go throughout the coach, you'll notice there's certain stickers that are identified with that yellow sticker, letting you know that those are pre-wired from the factory back to the built-in inverter, which can be upgraded to maybe a bigger one to control those. Becoming standard is only the 200, which is enough to send over a charge to the house battery. And of course the coach being wired. Butler size pantry with the ceiling way up there on the top so you will certainly need a stepping stool to get to some of those higher cabinets up on, up on the top there still with the solid surface countertops carried over to the butler size pantry and if you don't want the pantry you can also get this coach with that half bath option island in the middle with a 60 40 split stainless steel drop-in sink with those added leaflets to extend some of the island space you've got there 
solid wood cabinet doors, pull out drawers, and cabinet facings. On the Alpine models will be solid wood and even give you that really cool place to hide your trash can. But coming up back to the living area, I've gone ahead and pulled out both of the sleeper sofas to show you how much walk around space you'll have if maybe you are sleeping upwards of six people on your coach. In relation to size, it's bigger than a full, but not quite as big as a queen size bed. And you're not really gonna have room to recline in any of the theater seats here if someone is sleeping up here in the top. Heading to the back of the coach where you're gonna have two steps up, stepping to the back of the coach where you're gonna have a ceiling height, a little bit different from the front. Back in the back, ceiling height of six foot eight. In the front of the coach, ceiling height of six foot four in the front gooseneck area. King size bed with a bedroom slide, and you're gonna have breeze windows on both sides of the bed also, and those are trimmed out with a valance, preventing that natural sunlight from peeking its way through. Some additional shelving with a 110 outlet under here, around 14 inches of space. Over here, you're gonna have two different 110 outlets. That one's gonna be identified for the solder flex, so that's pre-wired to possibly be upgraded. And down here, another 110 outlet over here on the side of your trimmed out box, maybe for some additional blankets right under the bed. I like when they put those hydraulic cylinders, it makes it really easy to open. Here at the foot of the bed, you're gonna have four identical hanging style closets with the television pre-installed from the factory as well. Emergency fire exit window, but you could have utilized that for possibly a breeze window. Coming back to the back of the coach where you're gonna have a ceiling height again of six foot eight. Looking around a three inch step up to get into this one piece shower. And you have, do have that additional headroom from that skylight. Let me see if I can't take a seat and back up just to show you this enormous shower. 48 by 48 are the dimensions. Porcelain foot flush toilet with plenty of room to move about upon exiting the shower. Washer and dryer connections house back here or you can utilize that area for wardrobe. I'll open that up just in a second. So here it is a few days later, I'm putting the video together and realized I did not open that cabinet at all, exposing the washer and dryer connections or possibly that hanging right up there on the top. And while I've got you here again, really, really deep cabinet there, plus your Madison cabinet and the corner one for you there. I'll open that up just in a second. His and her sinks and check out all that additional counter space that's hidden back there. And there's another one of those yellow stickers identifying that Solar Flex 200. One of the many outlets that's pre-wired from the factory to work upon upgrading the system. A date and time of making the video MSRP on this model of $119,679. I'll leave a link in the description taking you back to our website to view more additional photos of this layout as well. If you have any questions, also check the link where you'll find my email address or even possibly a phone number to reach out to me directly. Leave me a thumbs up. I definitely do help. Like, subscribe, come see us.